Good evening, Dr. Phil here. Today we will be discussing on cerebrospinal fluid, or CSF. CSF is a specialized extracellular fluid in the ventricles and the subarachnoid space, which has a multitude of functions. CSF composition CSF composition is identical to that in the brain ECF. The mean specific gravity of CSF is 1.006 and ranges from 1.003 to 1.009. CSF composition has several major differences compared with plasma composition. CSF pressure is 50 to 180 mmH2O. CSF osmolarity is 292 to 297 milliosmol per liter, while serum osmolarity 285 to 295 milliosmol per liter. CSF sodium is 144 to 152 millimoles per liter, while serum sodium is 136 to 148 millimoles per liter. CSF potassium is 2 to 3 millimoles per liter, while serum potassium is 3.8 to 5.0 millimoles per liter. CSF calcium is 1 to 1.3 millimoles per liter, while serum calcium is 2.2 to 2.6 millimoles per liter. CSF chloride is 123 to 128 millimoles per liter, while serum chloride is 95 to 105 millimoles per liter. CSF and serum bicarbonate is equivalent at 24 to 32 millimoles per liter. CSF pH is 7.31 to 7.34 while serum pH is 7.38 to 7.44. In a fasting patient, CSF glucose is 2.2 to 3.9 millimoles per liter, while serum glucose is 4.2 to 6.4 millimoles per liter. CSF to serum glucose ratio is normally more than 0.5 to 0.6. CSF lactate is 1 to 2 millimoles per liter, while serum lactate is 0.6 to 1.7 millimoles per liter. CSF urea is 2 to 7 millimoles per liter, while serum urea is 2.5 to 6.5 millimoles per liter. CSF total protein is 0.2 to 0.5 grams per liter, while serum total protein is 55 to 80 grams per liter. CSF albumin is 56 to 75 percent, while serum albumin is 50 to 60 percent. CSF IgG is 0.01 to 0.014 grams per liter while serum IgG is 8 to 15 grams per liter. CSF leukocyte is less than 4 cells per microliter, and lymphocyte is 60 to 70 percent. PCO2 is higher in the CSF at 50 mmHg, resulting in a lower CSF pH of 7.33. The protein content of CSF is very low, 200 to 400 mg per liter, thus CSF has a very low acid-base buffering capacity. Glucose concentration of CSF is lower than that in plasma. Sodium and chloride concentrations are higher in the CSF than in the plasma. Potassium concentration is lower in the CSF than in the plasma by about 40%. Formation of CSF requires the active transport of sodium, chloride and potassium into the ventricles. Further sodium is added in exchange for potassium by the action of sodium-potassium ATPase. This influx is maintained by the further exchange of hydrogen ions and bicarbonate for sodium and chloride. Hydrogen ions and bicarbonate ions are generated from H2CO3 in a reaction catalyzed by carbonic anhydrase in the CSF. Cholesterol content of CSF is very low compared with that in the plasma. CSF formation Total CSF volume in infants, it's 4 mils per kg, children is 3 mils per kg, and in human beings of more than 5 years old, it is 1.5 to 2 mils per kg, which equates to about 150 mils. CSF distribution 80% is intracranial, 20% is extracranial. Most of the extracranial CSF is found distal to the conus medullaris. CSF source 80% of total CSF is secreted by the choroid plexus. CP. 20% of CSF comes from other extracoroidal sources such as ependymal cells, limited transcapillary fluid flux, metabolic water production, etc. Choroid plexus 
are complex structures comprised of a plexus of fenestrated capillaries surrounded by a layer of cuboidal epithelial cells. There is an intervening stromal space between these two components. The epithelial cells are polarized with the apical CSF facing site possessing microvilli. Tight junctions between the epithelial cells of the choroid plexus constitute the blood CSF barrier, which will be discussed in further detail. Choroid plexus are located at the lateral ventricle, third ventricle, and the fourth ventricle. CSF is produced via filtration of plasma through the fenestrated capillaries, followed by active transport of water and dissolved substances through the epithelial cells of the blood CSF barrier. CSF is actively secreted by choroid plexuses and secretory epithelia. Active secretion is enabled by membrane proteins such as apical sodium potassium ATPase, aquaporin water channel, and numerous secondary ion transporters and channels. CSF is produced with stable ionic composition that is different from that of plasma. The rate of CSF production in adults and children is constant under physiological conditions, which averages 0.4 mL per minute. Depending on literature, it ranges from 0.3 to 0.6 mL per minute, or 575 mL per day, or 25 mL per hour. CSF production falls when cerebral perfusion pressure falls below 70 mmHg, such as in the case of raised ICP or shock. Some drugs affect the rate of CSF production, for example, acetazolamide, a carbonic anhydrase inhibitor, is capable of reducing CSF production by as much as 50%. High-dose diuretics such as frusamide reduces CSF production by affecting the sodium transport process. Corticosteroids may decrease CSF production. CSF Circulation CSF moves by bulk flow through the ventricular system, driven by arterial pulsations within the cranium, respiration, and equalization of forces from CSF secretion and reabsorption, which maintains CSF pressure. CSF from the lateral ventricles flow through the interventricular foramina to reach the third ventricle. CSF then flows from the third ventricle through the cerebral aqueduct to reach the fourth ventricle. CSF exits the fourth ventricle through the lateral and median apertures and enters the subarachnoid space. Some CSF enters the central canal of the spinal cord. This is a schematic diagram of CSF circulation. CSF reabsorption. The rate of CSF reabsorption is proportional to its outflow pressure. Main routes. 90% of CSF is absorbed by the arachnoid villi. 10% is absorbed directly into the cerebral venules. Other routes of CSF reabsorption includes a small portion of subarachnoid CSF continues through the subarachnoid space along the spinal cord and exits along the spinal nerve roots, lymphatic vessels associated with the dural sinuses. CSF functions Number 1. Mechanical protection of the brain by buoyancy This is based on the Archimedes principle. The low specific gravity of CSF enables the reduction of the effective weight of the brain from 1.4 kg to 47 grams. The Archimedes principle is the physical law of buoyancy discovered by the ancient Greek mathematician and inventor Archimedes. It states that any body completely or partially submerged in a fluid, which is either gas or liquid, at rest is acted upon by an upward or buoyant force, the magnitude of which is equal to the weight of the fluid displaced by the body. This reduces brain inertia and protects it against deformation caused by acceleration or deceleration forces. CSF acts as a cushion to protect the brain from injury. Secondly, CSF acts as a buffer to increases in ICP by translocation from the intracranial to the extracranial subarachnoid space. CSF also provides a constant chemical environment for neuronal activity. For example, CSF partakes in the distribution of neurotropic factors and stabilization of brain pH and chemical gradients. CSF offers an excretory pathway out of CNS for solutes that cannot readily cross the blood-brain barrier. For example, CSF returns interstitial proteins back to the circulation 
as the brain does not have lymphatic vessels to perform this function. The excitatory amino acid transporter tree at the choroid plexus mediates the removal of L-glutamate, which is an excitatory neurotransmitter, from the CSF into the choroid plexus. CSF plays a role in acid-base regulation for control of respiration. CSF also provides a medium for nutrients after they are transported actively across the blood-brain barrier. For example, folate transport receptors transport packaged reduced folates from the blood into the CSF. CSF contributes to CNS development and repair mechanisms. Diseases of CNS such as neurodegenerative, neurovascular and neuroinflammatory diseases are associated with pathological changes in CSF circulation. Impaired CSF secretion can be caused by aging, amyloid beta loading into the choroid plexus, and direct injury to the choroid plexus. Impaired CSF reabsorption can be caused by ischemic injury, traumatic injury, and subarachnoid hemorrhage. Slowing of CSF turnover is implicated in the pathophysiology of Alzheimer's disease and brain injury. In Alzheimer's disease, impaired clearance of amyloid beta from the brain promotes amyloid beta plaque deposition. In brain injury, slowing of CSF turnover contributes to secondary injury from cerebral edema and elevated ICP. In hydrocephalus, there is a disturbance of CSF formation, flow or absorption, leading to an increase in volume occupied by this fluid in the CNS. Tissue barriers of the brain Tissue barriers of the brain function to protect the brain from harmful substances in the bloodstream, which includes macromolecular as well as small molecular pharmaceutical compounds. The blood CSF barrier The barrier to diffusion of most polar molecules from the blood to the CSF is the blood CSF barrier, this is a physical barrier formed by tight junctions between epithelial cells, a pandema, of the choroid plexus. Substances cannot pass freely from the blood into the CSF. The endothelial cells of the capillaries in the choroid plexus are fenestrated. Small molecules can freely cross the capillary walls via these gaps. Macrovilli at the choroid epithelial cells at the CSF facing surface increases the surface area of the apical membrane to aid in fluid secretion. At the choroid plexus, transport of metabolites occur via many processes, including diffusion, facilitated diffusion, and active transport. In multiple sclerosis, the choroid plexus may provide the route utilized by autoaggressive T cells to gain access to the brain parenchyma by breaching this blood CSF barrier, ultimately causing demyelination of CNS neurons via autoimmune destruction. The blood-brain barrier It differs from the blood CSF barrier. The physical barrier of the blood-brain barrier is the tight junctions between capillary endothelial cells, whereas the physical barrier of the blood CSF barrier is formed by tight junctions between epithelial cells of the choroid plexus. How is the presence of the blood-brain barrier and blood CSF barrier discovered? The blood-brain barrier is demonstrated by the first Goldman test, and the blood CSF barrier is demonstrated by the second Goldman test. In the first Goldman test, the following experiment was done on rabbit brains. IV injection of tryptan blue dye stains almost all organs blue except the brain and the spinal cord. The dura and choroid plexus show heavy blue staining. Faint blue staining is noted at areas where the blood brain barrier is absent, for example, the spinal ganglia, area postrema, and the posterior pituitary. In jaundice, the same pattern of color distribution occurs as well. Bow pigment stains all organs but the brain and spinal cord, analogous to tryptan blue in the first Goldman test. Prevention of substances that can impair neuronal function such as bilirubin to enter the brain is crucial for brain homeostasis. In the second Goldman test, tryptan blue dye is injected into the CSF. The brain and spinal cord shows diffuse superficial staining while the rest of the body remains unstained. This demonstrates that there is a barrier between the CSF and the blood, but not between the CSF and the CNS. Components of the blood-brain barrier Physical component The tight junctions between capillary endothelial cells Chemical component 
enzymatic degradation of certain substances in the endothelial cells prevents their entry into the brain ECF. For example, degradation of amines by monoamine oxidase and dopa decarboxylase. The blood-brain barrier prevents bidirectional paracellular diffusion of hydrophilic substances from CNS capillaries into surrounding tissues. These substances include charge and polar molecules and macromolecules. This provides a protected chemical environment for optimal neuronal function by maintaining the constancy of brain ECF composition. Movement of substances across the blood-brain barrier Substances that can easily cross the blood-brain barrier without special transport mechanisms includes oxygen, carbon dioxide, all lipid-soluble substances including anesthetic agents such as propofol and etomidate, water, etc. Specific transport mechanisms enable essential hydrophilic substances to be channeled through the blood-brain barrier such as glucose, galactose, amino acids, electrolytes, etc. Circumventricular organs these are areas of the brain that lie outside of the blood-brain barrier. The blood-brain barrier is absent in these organs. Substances passes freely from the bloodstream into the brain tissue at these areas and vice versa. This includes the posterior hypophysis with the neurohemal region or the posterior pituitary, choroid plexuses, pineal body, vascular organ of the lamina terminalis, subfornical organ, Subcommissural organ, area postrema, where the chemoreceptor trigger zone is located. Common features of circumventricular organs include they composed of modified ependema. They usually borders on the ventricular CSF spaces and subarachnoid CSF spaces. They are located in the median plane except for the choroid plexus. The blood-brain barrier is usually absent in these organs except for the subcommissural organ. Functions. The function of all these areas requires that they have access to the general circulation. For example, the posterior pituitary, secretion of hormones into the systemic circulation such as ADH and oxytocin. For the choroid plexus, production of CSF. For the area postrema, for the detection of potentially toxic substances in the systemic circulation by the chemoreceptor trigger zone to trigger the emetic reflex. Pineal body secretes melatonin to regulate the circadian rhythm. Vascular organ of the lamina terminalis serves as a neuroendocrine mediator. This organ is sensitive to angiotensin II. It secretes somatostatin, luliberin, and motilin. The subfornical organ is the organ of thirst and plays a central role in regulation of fluid balance. It is also sensitive to angiotensin II and secretes somatostatin and luliberin. These are my references. Thank you.